I'm old enough to remember when the Republican Party wailed and whined and complained and took to the podiums and in front of microphones and cameras, expressed their righteous indignation about the immorality of Bill Clinton. It was a party that said character matters. What are we to tell our young children who look up to the president of the United States? What shall we tell them? Because character matters. The impeachment, which I think was necessary and justified personally uh, of Bill Clinton, this, is, this must happen because character matters. What happened to that Republican Party? I'm getting ready to play you two clips from this week, the show this week over the weekend with George Stephanopoulos and, and uh, Chris Sununu, the governor of New Hampshire. If you're in New Hampshire, I, look, I, I don't live there. I don't know the intricacies of your culture within the state. I know it's, you know, kind of a live free or die state, your motto and stuff. But I would be ashamed. I would be as ashamed of Chris Sununu as I am of Brad Little, who is the governor of my my home state, my childhood home state of Idaho. Just a dipshit, just a shameless coward who has bent the knee to Donald Trump, campaigning vigorously for Nikki Haley, and then as soon as that's over, back to licking the boots, back to getting his nose right up the ass of Donald Trump as far as he can cram it. In this first, there, it, the two clips both involve whether or not Chris Sununu is going to support Donald Trump in the face of all of the criminal trials, all of the criminality, all of the corruption, all of the calls to terminate the Constitution, all of the, the, the absolute un-American, anti-democratic things that have gone on related to, directly related to Donald Trump. And he doubles down, yeah, yeah, I'm going to vote for him. And then the second one, George, it's really a lesson in how to do media. As much criticism as, as I have for the mainstream media, I'm gonna call out the good stuff when it happens. And this second clip is just a masterclass in how to end an interview with a bootlicker like Chris Sununu. First, the first clip, uh, it is astounding, this dialogue. Tomorrow, that criminal trial, will your support for Donald Trump continue even if he's convicted in Manhattan? Yeah, I, look, I, this this trial is not going to have major political ramifications that a lot of people, I think, think it may have. And when it comes to th these issues, people see it more as reality TV at this point. Uh, they, they really do. And so, um, you know, whether it's a conviction or what that conviction looks like, um, a lot of folks, they conflate all four of these different trials that he's in. I don't think it's good that he's going to be in the court, uh, have to be in there probably three days a week, uh, you know, for, for a number of weeks. That takes him off the campaign trail. He'll probably go back on the campaign trail and almost like rehash what's going on. He'll try to victimize it, um, and, and that has worked for him, right? I mean, this has been going on for over a year, well, and his poll numbers never seem to go down because of the issue. Well, yeah, you're going to politics, though. I'm asking you about right and wrong. You think it's, you're, you're comfortable with the idea of supporting someone who's convicted of a, oh, no. of a federal crime as president? No, no. I don't, I don't think any American is comfortable with any of this. Uh, they don't like any of this, of course. But, I mean, when it comes to actually you know, looking at, the, at each of these trials, um, as they kind of take place, whether it's this year or next year, or as they kind of line up, the, the, right now this is about an election. Right. This is about politics. That's what people are judging this on. And the, the ultimate you know, decision will be will be in November to see where people. Chris Sununu certainly was someone who was critical of Bill Clinton and his character flaws, his very real, harmful character flaws, his actions, his abusive actions, Bill Clinton. But none of that for Donald Trump, because this is about politics for them. This is a reality TV show to them, but not to the rest of the world, not to the rest of the country. Donald Trump's poll numbers don't go, uh, go, don't go down because he's already at the very bottom. Donald Trump enjoys the support of about 35% of the country, which just so happens to be MAGA. That does not matter what Donald Trump does. 
they're in a cult, they're going to support their dear leader. Now, to the positive side of this, and that is the actions, the statement, the wrap-up of George Stephanopoulos here, who absolutely devastated Chris Sununu with a the lineup of what he is endorsing, the lineup of things that he will be voting for if indeed he follows through and does vote for Donald Trump in November. Watch this. That's how badly America wants a culture change. So, 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 so just to sum up, you would, you would support him for president even if he's convicted in classified documents. You support him for president even though you believe he contributed to an insurrection. You support him for president even though you believe he's lying about the last election. You support him for president even if he's convicted in the Manhattan case. I just want to say the answer to that is yes, correct? Yeah, me and 51% of America. Governor, thanks for your time this morning. Up next, Arizona puts the abortion debate back in the... Me and 51% of America? Dipshit? Donald Trump in no way enjoys 51% support from the country. No way. Donald Trump didn't even get a majority of the vote in 2016 or 2020. Donald Trump is not enjoying 51% support among Americans. Again, 35% maybe. And then if you really drill down on that, the, the, the studies that were done of the people who have been arrested for the insurrection, many, many of them, a, a high percentage of them didn't even vote. Donald Trump, you and 51%, are you high? Are you stupid? Again, New Hampshire, New Hampshire. You support him for president, even though you believe he's lying about the last election. You believe these are things they talked about in the interview prior. You believe he contributed to an insurrection against the country, and you're still going to vote for this guy because it's a reality show in your eyes, and this is about politics, and you need the Trump party to continue on. Otherwise, where will you be, Chris Sununu? This is the Republican Party. They're now just admitting, yeah, he's an insurrectionist, but this is what we want. This is what we'll want. This is who we support. This is who we will get behind. And if it comes to a second insurrection, so be it. So be it. Anyway, uh, what are your thoughts on this? We can have a conversation in the comments. Obviously, as always, helps to uh, trigger YouTube to recommend this channel to new viewers. That would be fantastic. You can also call and leave me a voicemail, as many, many do. 714-576-4054. Of course, you can email me daily at dollamore.com. I'd love to hear from you. Follow me on social media. I'm at Dollamore everywhere. And if you want to help support this work, help me make these videos. For $2 a month, you can do just that. Become a channel member, click on the join button be below this video on YouTube. You can go over to my Patreon page, patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast and help support there. All of it goes a long way toward making uh, what we do happen here and reaching the number of people we do with the truth. Uh, I'll see you next time. I appreciate you. Be genuine and take care of one another.